Hello, welcome back to Danganronpa V3. So, the trial is well underway now. They had suspected Himiko, but I think we're on the verge of pretty much clearing her as, as the prime suspect anyways. Gonta had climbed onto the stage and was looking into the tank from above. Isn't that right, Gonta? Which means Ryoma's body wasn't in the tank yet. Yeah, Gonta saw down into tank, but saw no one in there. He is in there? Yeah, no one. Guess that clue no good, huh? On the no, contrary. It's actually a great clue, because... If Ryoma's body was hidden inside the staircase, Kimiko would have had to pull them out before she went inside. There certainly wasn't enough room in the staircase for both of them. But that means, if the tank was empty when Gonta looked, Ryoma's body must not have been hidden in the staircase. What if they squeeze into okay. that space with Ryoma's body to avoid getting caught? She had no need to worry about us witnessing her at that point. But the entire stage was hidden behind a curtain. To all but Gonta, anyway. Then the culprit never would have considered hiding inside the staircase with the body. Entering the staircase after moving the body is much faster, and seems more rational, too. Then... Ryoma's body wasn't hidden in the stairs? Someone better say where the fucking body was hidden, or I'm gonna start cutting throats! <laughs> Jesus, man. Settle down. Where was Ryoma's body hidden? We need to pin that down. It's clear that it wasn't inside the staircase, but where? Hmm. I think I know where. Where were you hiding Ryoma's body? It wasn't really in the stairs, was it? After There's all, only... there was only enough space for Himiko. His body didn't well, appear until after the piranhas the fell. If there was a way to enter the tank from there, then it would be plausible. So maybe the body was in the tank all along, but we just couldn't see it. Impossible. You need top-notch visual effects to pull that off. And what of the tank containing the piranhas? The way! If you put a body in there, the piranhas would have eaten it way before we saw it. That's but true. If the body and piranhas were separated, then it wouldn't have been devoured. Oh, oh, I see where you're going. Why was he not eaten by the piranhas even though he was in the same tank? There was one piece of evidence at the crime scene that might explain it. Where were you hiding Ryoma's yes. body? It wasn't... That, that pane of glass acting as a divider. Long, but we just couldn't see. Impossible, you need top notch visual effects for that. And what if the tank containing the piranhas? No way! If you put a body in there, the piranhas would have eaten it way before we saw it. But if the body and per I agree. There. Feels hypothesis is correct. The body and the piranhas were separated. This was accomplished using the square glass pane found in the tank. Just as I thought. Using that glass pane as a divider, a safe space could be created in the tank. It is in such a space that the body could be stored, separated from the piranhas. body fell into the water tank with the piranhas? Gonta knew it! What is it, Gonta? Gonta yeah, was above stage when piranhas fall. That's why Gonta sees something no one else could. Oh. When piranhas fell, Gonta sees some big thing fall into water tank with them. 
right when the timer hit zero, the buzzer went off, and then... Yeah, we couldn't really see what it was. The bottom of the suspended tank swung open, and the murky water and shadowy shapes inside fell straight into the water tank Amiko was swimming in. Yeah, I mean, didn't didn't Angie say that the piranhas looked more crammed in the tank? We all agree that the glass pane was it looked like there were more piranhas the in the, the piranhas, tank. Correct. Well, that method has the added benefit of hiding the body from view. How is the culprit able to conceal the body in the piranha tank? Yeah. Yeah, cram piranhas. Looked like there were more piranhas compared to the night before. This is it! And remember, I think they it said before the that... The piranhas were obscuring the body. I think they said before that only the front of the tank has... is glass. The other sides were wood. So you couldn't see it from the other... from, like, the side. Right. Remember what Andy said during the investigation? I noticed it right as the show ended. I feel like there were more piranhas today than yesterday than we were preparing. Can you increase that significantly? I didn't know piranhas fuck like rabbits. <laughs> they don't. It seemed that way, but it wasn't that the actual number of piranhas increased. And they're not gremlins either. The glass pane divided the tank nearly in half, right? The piranhas got crowded together, making it look like there were more of them. The more densely the piranhas are packed, the harder it is to see past them. Because of that, it was difficult to see the body hidden in the tank. Oh, it was? That makes sense. Hey, thanks for telling us that useless detail. You're not helping either, Kokichi. That detail was super useful. Sure, the lid looks a little big, but if you set it diagonally, it would fit perfectly. Nice job, Nico. Your explanation was awesome. This much evidence? It seems like the body was definitely in the piranha tank. Congrats, Himiko! Now there should be no reason for anyone to suspect you. Mm, really? Yeah, because if you didn't switch places with the body, then you couldn't have killed him. It only means we now have other suspects. You are not cleared of suspicion just yet. Okay, but still, that's way better! True. That's wonderful news, Himiko! Atua is happy for you. Uh, you were the one who accused it her in the first place, Angie. Apologize, Angie! You and your Atua better tell Himiko you're sorry right now! <laughs> Atua is sleeping. He went to bed angry because you all doubted him. <laughs> oh, poor baby. What a petty ass god! <laughs> It's okay. We shouldn't be mad at Angie. We should be mad at this class trial. At this killing team. Yeah. 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 Oh, Himiko! Bless your sweet, kind heart! That's what Atua said, anyway. <laughs> yeah. 
her too now. It's too bad that the handsome god went to bed angry though. <laughs> Himiko's still brainwashed! But I'm not giving up just yet. This is gonna be a breeze. Great, now what are we gonna do? We're back to square one. Hmm. And why are we back to square one? Because any of us could still be the culprit. Jeez! You flunk out of tard school or something? Nuh uh, uh these not two again. everyone. We can narrow it down to whoever doesn't have an alibi yet. Oh. Eh? What alibi? I guess I should have known a dumb whore pig like you wouldn't understand. So let me explain. Who you calling a dumb pig? <laughs> if there's this much evidence, then there's no mistake the body was hidden in the piranha tank. But for someone to plant the body in there with such limited time is pretty tricky. Okay, Kokichi brings up a valid point. There's only one time the culprit could have set up this scene. Um... Yesterday before nighttime, during nighttime, before the show. Um. Uh. Uh. Wait. Was it. it was it. I think we saw. Didn't we see Ryoma d before nighttime? So it had to have been during nighttime, right? Eh, wrong answer. I can't remember something as basic as the school regulations. Oh, because you. It's because you can't enter the gym at night. Is that what you're getting at? <sighs> then, okay, then then it had to have been before nighttime because I don't think they would have had enough time before the show, right? That's it. Hmm. It was done yesterday before nighttime. Ding, ding, ding! The ultimate detective gets it right again. Know it was before nighttime yesterday. Stop asking me dumbass questions. It could have been solved with the process of elimination. Jeez. Fine. I'll explain it to the itty bitty pea brained bitchlet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, Mew. First, the gym was she closed is... during nighttime, so no one could have entered. She is enjoying the verbal abuse way too much. She's definitely a masochist. If you try to enter the gym at night, it'll go off. You talking about my butthole? What? No! What? Dude. No, she means the alarm! <laughs> After nighttime passed, morning came. But hiding the body before the show was. <laughs> Impossible! Himiko and I were waiting in front of the gym before the morning announcement. Which leaves only one possibility. It was done before nighttime yesterday. Anyone who doesn't get this is just as stupid as the whore bitch lit over there. <laughs> uh, yeah, she is so the she is definitely enjoying that way too much. In the tank before nighttime yesterday? Which means. He was also killed during that time frame. Yay! Now we know what time the crime happened, right? I still don't really get it, though. Can we narrow down the time of death a bit more? Hmm. I'm sure we can narrow it down more if we consider the source of the information. Who is... didn't... I know we we saw we saw Rioma before the insect meet and greet. Who is somebody didn't wait, who mentioned Wait No. Uh Witnessing Rioma. The last person who saw Rioma was Gonta around 8 p.m. last night. Miu also saw Rioma 30 minutes before that. Okay. This is it! We can find out who last saw Ryoma alive. We can narrow down the time of death. Kirumi, you were asking everyone when they had last seen him, right? Yes. Gonta was the last person who saw Ryoma. What? Really? And when was the last time Gonta saw Ryoma? Um, 
when Gonta was inviting everyone to insect meet and greet, so... Gonta think that was maybe 8 p.m.? If he was last seen at 8 p.m. and was killed before nighttime officially began... Then we can assume the crime took place between 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock at night. So all we must do is find someone with no alibi for that time period, yes? Hmm. Simple enough. After all, most of us were detained by Gonta then. Right, that does narrow down the list of suspects a bit. If I recall correctly, the only people that weren't there besides Leoma... That would be the four of us. Myself, Kaito, you, and also... Mother. Now, Kirumi, you would tell the truth, even if it screwed you over. <laughs> It is my duty to unveil the truth, so I do not care if people suspect me. Ah, beautiful! Your spirit of self-sacrifice is just too beautiful! I will also say this. The crime took place between 8 and 10 o'clock at night, and I was at the gym during that time. Five minutes. Why would you even say that, though? You're tying a noose around your neck, you know. Hmm. I don't care if it was five seconds. It's way too suspicious that you were alone in the gym. I think the cleaning lady here is the culprit. You killed Riona, didn't you? It's too soon to tell. We should hear what hmm. everyone has to say, right? Fuck that noise! But Mew, you don't have an alibi for when the crime occurred either, do you? You think I'm suspicious? Uh, I don't even know where the gym is! <laughs> there she goes. The other two without she sure does that when she's on the hot seat. Let us hear your testimonies. Hmm. I was in my research lab the whole time. I didn't go to the gym. But that cannot be proven yet. What about Kaito? Only murderers grow out creepy facial hair like mustaches and goatees. <laughs> what? My goatee's not creepy. It gives me a glamorous celebrity vibe. <laughs> anyway, among those four, the culprit must be the one who doesn't have an alibi. I apologize, but given the circumstances, we have no choice but to suspect you. Suspect who? Who's the culprit? Wait up! Why are you guys suspicious of me? I've been helping the whole time! Wait, remember me. I do have an alibi. You will see whether or not I am suspicious as the trial progresses. No I'm not way the I'm the culprit! I think we're a mass panic is gonna start. That's what you're thinking, right? Oh, you're exactly right, buddy. Let me give you another tutorial first. Have loud voice dialogue. When one of your opponents shouts their opinion in a loud voice, it blocks out everyone's arguments. Even if you see a weak spot, you can't refute it. What do I do then? So luckily, it's just like white noise. Shut him up with a silencer. After that, all the ar arguments will be audible again. Then you just shoot the truth bullet at the weak spot. You know the drill. Thanks for your understanding. Okay. Okay, cool rules. Maki alone, witnessing Ryoma. Kikichi's account. What is your Okay, Kikichi's account. Immediately after, Kikichi left the lab. At 9 p.m. last night, he was caught by Kurumi in the entrance hall. He stayed with her until 10. After he went to the dorms and returned. Okay. I even tried hiding in the girl's bathroom. What? He's got a What's Cool rules. I don't think that's it. Maki alone. Are you witnessing sure you did not stay at the gym? Huh? Oh, this is the... Okay. 
I need to sort out everyone's statements just like Kaede did. I need to calm down, focus on one at a time. I I was running away. Where's your alibi? Five minutes. Did you really leave the gym at 9 p.m.? Are you sure you did not stay at the gym? No, in my own room. Wait a sec. Okay, I think. I think there's. There's not a lot to shoot in this. And I think I know. Are you sure you did not what? Stay no, in my own room. Okay. There. I heard it. No, I think he really is telling the truth. Kokichi's story proves it. Right when I got to the entrance hall, Kurumi spotted me. That was right after I left Gonsa's lab, so it was right around 9 p.m. She started throwing questions at me left and right, asking if I was up to no good. She just kept talking and then finally let me go at 10 p.m. when nighttime rolled around. A whole hour? Well, only the first half hour is a lecture, then we play tag for the other half. Kokichi met Kirumi at 9 p.m., and they were together until nighttime. Gonta went to the gym to catch Himiko and Angie, five minutes before 9 o'clock. After I left Gonta's lab, I ran into Kirumi. I'm pretty sure Kirumi stayed at the gym five minutes till 9 o'clock. This information could have been told to us beforehand. Sorry, forgot. I definitely didn't keep it a secret to make the trial more interesting. <laughs> definitely. Forgot? It seems far more plausible that you are telling another lie. Unlike robots, we meatbags can't pull out our memories from our hard drive. <laughs> Was that supposed to offend me? Your irrationality fills me with pity. If I am the culprit, that would mean I killed Ryoma within five minutes, transported him to the gym, and hid him in the piranha tank. This seems highly unlikely. True. If you called Ryoma out to the gym and killed him there, you wouldn't need to move him. All you would have to do is hide him in the piranha tank. Gonto was in the midst of heading to the gym to capture Angie. Are you claiming I took advantage of that? And called Ryoma for a rendezvous at the gym? Um, that would be pretty difficult. We should probably look at other possibilities. Maybe someone snuck into the gym while Kirumi and I were busy talking. The only ones capable of that are the other three with no alibis. Mm. Mio, Kaido, and Maki! Ah! You're including me too? But there's actually one person we can rule out of the suspects list. Right? Mm. One person who's totally not suspicious. <laughs> Say who it is already. It's Miyu, isn't it? Because she was... Kokichi said while he was talking to... He was talking to, um... Kirumi, and he saw a woman wandering around in underwear. That had to have been Miyu, because she was, uh... Cause she was giving Gonta a little peep show around then, wasn't she? I need to pin down who that was. The key of that fact lies in Kokichi, Gonta, and Miu's statements. Right. That's it! Kokichi, you're talking about Mew, right? What? Mew? Yeah, you can take her off the list. She actually has an alibi. Oh yeah! Suck it, nerds! <laughs> Wait a sec! Since when does she have an alibi? 
If you compare everyone's statements, there's no other possibility. Oh yeah, I did see something odd while Kurumi was lecturing me. Something odd? I saw a half-naked girl wander around the courtyard in her underwear. It was too dark for me to make out who it was, but I saw her walk around for a bit. A girl walking around half-naked? <laughs> who else could it be? But the horny exhibitionist in you. <laughs> we can't just jump to conclusions like that. He just saw a shadow, right? That could have been anyone walking around in women's underwear. Even me! <laughs> oh, God. Really, Kaido? That'd be a whole different issue. <laughs> It's me, without a doubt. You and Gotha's statements prove it. Oh, Gunta see Miu, but Gunta's face get red hot, so Gunta no could bring her. Her face got hot. You mean you were hot on her trail, right? Um, no, she used her, uh, what she call it? The secret woman weapon, and then... Oh, well, uh, I uh, had to use my secret woman weapon, and let's just leave it at that. I see, I see. It sounds like Gonta got an eyeful, hmm? Sounds like it. What? Why the heck were you in your underwear, Mew? Oh, well, because, you know, I'm pretty stacked, so... I figured I'd take my clothes off, so Gonta would be too flustered to touch me. <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking to it, you cockroaches. <laughs> anyway, oh, geez. the blood rushed to both of Gonta's heads because he's not super <laughs> embarrassed. <laughs> Gonta got weird feelings. <laughs> so Gonta ran away. Well, when he got the body of a oh, goddess, Gonta. it's only natural to want to flaunt it. <laughs> show my panties to the boys all the time. And I mean all the time. So you're welcome, Gota. Think of me during your next hug <laughs> Most of that was... Oh, God, Mew. <laughs> but it would seem that Mew has an actual alibi. Yeah, it, would seem it took that a way. while. But at least we got everyone's alibis cleared up. We should remember all of this in case we need to recall these events again. Mm -hmm. Oh, alibis for yesterday. Is that updated? That leaves Kaito and Maki as the only ones with no alibis. Hmm. Alibis for yesterday. Okay. Then one of them must be the culprit. But which one, I wonder? Easy, meeny, money, mo. Catch the culprit, right? Hold up! Don't decide mm. just yet! Two prime suspects, Kaido and Maki. But something inside me doesn't want to accuse Kaido. I want to believe Kaido. Until he's proven guilty, I'll trust him. Uh, maybe we should determine the sequence of events. The culprit w No, we should do something more fun. And what? I have the perfect idea. Oh no, what? what? We narrowed it down to two people, and one of those two is the culprit, right? Since we don't have to randomly accuse each other, finding the truth just got much easier. So let's find the truth with a more effective method. And what is this effective method? If one of them is the culprit, then the innocent one should know who the guilty one is. Yeah? Because yeah. if you know you're not the culprit, then you can just accuse the other person. Yes, that is true. Uh, Which means there is one person among us who definitely knows who the culprit is. To that someone who knows, do your best to convince us. 
Work harder. That's it. Well, that's pretty Work odd. Harder. Have the two argue for their innocence. That's how we'll decide our culprit. Even if we that's... did that, wouldn't they just pass the blame back and forth? Right. And. And. You guys talk about cooperation and teamwork, but you're all afraid. You're too scared to point your fingers at others, so you hide behind the word trust. How do you expect to find the culprit when you're all worried about each other's feelings? If you're planning to expose a liar, then you have to corner them psychologically. Only then will they reveal their true self as a liar! Hiding beneath a layer of deceit! If we want to find the liar, I suggest that the two suspects argue against each other. No more pointless deductions. All we need is for them to fight for their lives. Let's first an argument that's totally not boring but super fun! Look at the culprit in their lives. When we find a contradiction, we'll scare the culprit until they screw up! That's how a true class trial works. Man, right, this, this, man, this guy, what is his deal? <laughs> a development like that would liven things up a bit! Yep, I totally agree. <laughs> You're agreeing with Monokuma? Just whose side are you on? That's what I'm wondering. Either, you know. That's why we need to take this seriously. Hot to beat us. Look out the light. And how do you expect us to start this? I do like his voice acting, though. If you guys need some help getting started, I can give out the first topic. No. Oh, Our that. First topic is... Just any cuts, Dad, but the one given to our latest victim, Ryukoma. Oh, you, you still have it? When we started investigating, I went straight to his room to borrow it. So you, so you have his motive. You know... Hmm. So Does that have anything to do with... Took the video from his room? It was you. Hmm. And the reason why I brought it out just for this occasion is... Because one of these two had Ryoma's Moda video. Dun dun dun! Oh. One of these two had it. Mm. And for us to figure that out, we need to know who this Moda video belongs to. Take a guess, everyone! Whose Moda video did Ryoma have? Motive video that Ryoma had. Was it Kaido's or Maki's? Well, I should know the answer. I, I got I got Kaido's video, so so it can't be that. So it must have been Maki, right? It was Maki's motive video, right? Oh, how did you ever guess? Hmm. Ooh, I know, I know. Because the motive video that you have belongs to Kaito. Process of elimination wins again. The obvious answer was Maki, right? Is that true, Shuichi? Yes, you're right. And what about that? Just because we only have my motive video, that doesn't make me the culprit. <laughs> Finally, you said something! This is how a debate should be. I only brought up the motive video to make you talk. Excuse me? Okay, now that we got the party rolling, let's get you and Kaito ready to argue. If you're not the culprit, then that means the other one is. Let's start this extreme death debate. Tear up the other's lives. Rip each other apart. Wait just a minute. What are you trying to do? Quit screwing around. We don't need to debate who's a culprit.
I'm not the culprit. That's for sure. Which means... I can wait. Maybe Kokichi is wrong. Maybe he... Maki isn't the culprit either. Huh? What? She's not? Oh. Huh? Really? You're saying neither of you are the culprit? Then what would be the point of this whole debate? Who cares about that? All I know is that neither me or Maki are the culprit. It's just a hunch I've got. A hunch. Uh, a hunch? Are you being serious? You do know all our lives are on the line here, right? And you're betting our lives on just a hunch? <laughs> you don't get it. This isn't just any hunch. This is an official hunch from the Kaito Momota, Luminary <laughs> of the Stars. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> How illogical. This is even more difficult to comprehend than Kokichi's antics. You're totally not serious. You can't be that stupid, right? No, he might actually be that stupid. <laughs> not, not helping Tanko. <laughs> hey, don't call me an idiot. Anyway, me and Maki aren't the culprit. There's no doubt about it. I believe in Maki. Really? What? You believe in her? Like, based on what? Huh? I don't gotta base it on anything. No matter where the clues point. In the end, the only thing that matters is what I believe, right? Whether I believe or not, whether I want to believe or not, that's the only thing that matters. Got a thing for Maki, do you, Kaido? So, you do not have any evidence. <laughs> only baseless conjecture. But, I totally get where he's coming from, because I want to believe in Himiko, too. Yeah, I guess it's kind of the same thing. Want to believe, huh? Yeah, I think I understand that. Wanting to believe in someone is a beautiful act, yes. However, it is a sentiment that has no place in a class trial. He's an idiot after all. It's okay to be idiot, as long as you believe in people. Guys, I said don't call me an idiot! It really hurts my feelings. <laughs> True. That's not what a class trial's about. You're supposed to think logically. You can't let your feelings into it. It's absurdity. Total absurdity. But then again, that absurdity saved me before, right? Why? Why do you trust me, Kaido? There's a chance I'm the cult. I believe in you because I want to. Do I need a reason other than that? What? Isn't that why you believed in Kaede? I mean, sure, I might get betrayed in the end, but... If I worry about that, I won't be able to believe in the people I want to believe in. If I can trust my logic, maybe I should trust Kaido's feelings, too. Yeah, it'll work out in the end, so... I'll believe in Maki as well. Hmm. What? That's our Kaido, right? Making us think with our hearts. You too? How could the ultimate detective believe in someone without proof? But there's no proof linking Maki or Kaito to this crime either. I believe in innocent until proven guilty. For now, they are innocent. Right on, there we go. I knew I picked a good sidekick. <laughs> uh, and by the way, I might be the ultimate detective, but I'm in training. I told you that, didn't I? I'm just an apprentice, not a real detective. How do you plan to get closer to the truth without suspecting either of them? Unless you have evidence to the contrary, these two will remain suspect. So I just have to turn it around, right? Huh? Mm. It's not like I owe that idiot a favor or anything just because he defended me. 
But that hopeless idiot may have encouraged me a bit. Seriously! Enough's enough! Stop calling me an idiot! <laughs> what are you trying to say, Maki? I didn't want to say anything, but I can't stay silent forever. So I'll tell you. Oh? Tell us what? I met up with Ryoma during nighttime yesterday. What? At nighttime? So it was after. So Ryoma was still alive at nighttime? Oh. I thought the crime took place between 8 and 10 o'clock at night. So I, does this shut down that theory after all then? That's wrong, because I met up with Ryoma during nighttime. If that's true, then we have no basis for suspecting only Kaita and Maki. Oh, that... If that's true, that opens up the... That... That opens up the uh, pool of suspects that's again. right. Everyone suspected them, because they know have alibis for those times. That means me and Maki aren't suspects anymore. Quit fucking around! You think I'm dumb enough to swallow that line of crap? But why did Maki wait until now to mention that? True. <laughs> it's totally obvious! Maki's so desperate that she has to lie! Is that a lie? Did Maki lie to us? It's true, we don't have all the facts. But why would Maki say that now of all times? If I trust her innocence, I should believe her statement. But should I? Up. Oh. Okay, we're intermission. Okay, then I guess this this seems like a good cutoff. So uh, I'll uh, I'll see you guys next time and uh, get to the bottom of this. I'll see you then. I'm playing a game!